Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Summer is here, well, for Ireland, not lots of it. So today, we'll be making scrunchies. These scrunchies are very easy to do. Well, for me, school is finished, we're having our summer break. For you guys, I don't know about you. And I'm going to second year. Wow, it's almost been a year since I dyed my hair. Well, a couple of months ago, I cut my hair because it's going all dry. It's split ends, but... Uh, it's still there-ish. These scratches are very, very easy to make. The skills you need are basically how to sew. That's it, just how to sew. The scrunchie, you can do a plain scrunchie, a pattern, or you can use buttons or sequins, whatever. A little accessory. My sister Vanessa, you know her guys, she's scared of buns because have you ever watched the movie Coraline with buns? Yeah, we watched that a million times, and she's always scared of buttons, so I'm coming after Vanessa. And oh my god, look at that, my hair is actually straight, not like a freaking afro. Because every time I pull my hair in a ponytail, I don't know if you realize this, but my hair goes like everywhere all the time. I don't know why it does that, even if hairspray or gel, it still goes poof. For these scrunchies, you can find these materials at home. The goal is for the scrunchie to use less money. For the material, you can just use clothes that you find at home that are too small for you. Some scissors, a ruler for measurements, a hair clip, you'll see why. Elastic, some needle and some thread. I already did it because um, this took me ages. The hole is so small. It took me ages to do it. Some pins for to make it secure. And some accessories for the scrunchie. You know, this is optional, but I like to go extra. So, I was about to use a sewing machine for this, but my sewing machine is stupid, aka broken. Well, it's completely fine. Just every time I use it, it just... I feel like the sewing machine hates me. But if my scissors use it, it's perfectly fine. When I use it, it's so bad. Maybe I'm just really bad at using sewing machines or something. I don't know. I used to be, I used to be really good at it. Now I'm just like, nope. So I'm just sewing by hand. It's gonna take longer, but at least it's worth a shot. So first, we're gonna get our fabric. This is just like an old jumper that's like really small on me. So now we have to get our ruler because we're gonna measure out how long it's gonna be. Just um, letting you know, this is going to be very long. First, we have to cut it into a rectangle, 22 by 4 inches. So now I am going to get my needle. I hope I will not prick myself. But if you have two pieces like me, and I will be start sewing across the line. I think I did that actually a pretty good job. I did it two times just to make sure it's secure. So now I'm done with my long scarf. You can stop here and make it a fabulous short scarf. Now we're gonna do some more sewing. For this part, we have to fold it. So the good side is gonna be in the inside. And I'm gonna use pin to secure them so they won't move while I'm sewing. So guys, I am finished pinning my fabric. Now we're gonna sew end to end. Do not sew it here or close it because we're gonna be doing unfold to so sew a reverse. So the outside will be in the inside and we're gonna see the inside the good, the good side. So now it's time to sew. Guys, now I'm finished sewing my fabric. Now we're going to flip it inside out.
So now I am done flipping it inside out. Now the good side should be in the outside, like this. Now we're gonna use the elastic. No, this is time to use the hair clip. So you know the end, you have to put the hair clip into it like a needle, basically like this. No, you don't exactly need to use a hair clip, but this is the easiest way for me. Now we're gonna try to pass the elastic through the tube so it can go to the other side. And when you pass through, try to scrunch it out at the same time. Yes, finally I have reached the other end. And, uh... If you feel the hair clip, on the top of it and bottom so at the top push it down and at the end you'll see these ruffles and push them down to here to make a scrunchie so keep doing that till you get to the other end now this is the fun part this is where we gotta make the scrunchie so guys we gotta pull it we see it's forming into a scrunchie now we're gonna tie it two times, a double knot, so make sure that it is secure. Guys, don't do it too tight or the scrunchie can't really stretch. Guys, it looks done. Is it done? Mm, no, it's not. It's almost done. Just need a couple of more steps. Get your thread and start sewing the opening closed. Guys, we're almost at the end of making our scrunchie. So this is how it looks so far. It's basically done. You can stop here and make it into this plain nice scrunchie. Well, I like go extra and I made this. So this is gonna be our ribbon. Let's, we're gonna make a ribbon to cover our, our residue. Guys, this is really easy to make. So of course we have to use our sewing skills again. So you have to make a long oval shape, half of the size of the scrunchie. But remember, the good side has to be in the inside so we can flip it over later. And then sew. But remember, leave a little gap in the middle so you can flip it inside out later. When you're done sewing, flip it inside out and sew in the closing part. Guys, now we are going to assemble them together. And you can make a little bow out of it. So guys, we are not done yet because this girl has to go extra, double extra. We're gonna use some buttons and sequins. But the buttons maybe doesn't match with the color. But these are some pretty cool colors in the sequins, so we're gonna use them. We are going to place it all around the border. So guys, we have finally made it, and now we are done making our scrunchies. It felt like a million years to put on a sequence. Well, I learned how to put on a sequence. It's quite easy, but quite hard at the same time. But you gotta learn and practice. Well, these are actually so much fun to make, and they look really cute. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you tried this at home. Please subscribe, hit the notification to not miss an upload, and like this video, share it to friends and family, and I'll see you guys next time on Andrea DIY's Bye. I hope you all have an amazing summer. On PS, comment down below what anime characters I should draw because I I'm stuck. I do not know what to draw. I draw the same my character and character all the time. But I'll draw something that I know. So yeah. <laughs>